Okay. Yeah, we're recording. Did you finish your hot dog? No. Oh, shit. That's fine. I'll finish it later. All right. Well, it's, it's not like it's going to go anywhere. That's true. But I... Sucked into my stomach. Okay. So you said you were going to eat it first. And then we were going to do the podcast and you didn't eat it. It's true. I did it. But it's fine. We have it later. I'm surprised that you got drink on your shirt and not mustard. I know. I thought for sure the mustard. I went all day without getting anything on my white t-shirt, which was like a challenge. And then right at the end of our shopping experience, I took a sip of my hibiscus lemonade. And it didn't fly out of the straw. It like, the part where the straw stabs into the boba cup, somehow it flew out of there and landed on my shirt. That's so dramatic. It was really dramatic. And I was like, that sucks. I just, I, you, you know, you always want to wear white shirts. <sighs> They're so comfy. Okay, BS, because I just found out today that the only reason that you're doing that is to, like, because I always wear black. It's one of the reasons. What is that? I think it looks cute. <sighs> what do you mean? You're all, like, in black, and I'm in, like, a white shirt. And I think we look cute. I don't, I don't know about all that, but okay. I mean, that's fine if you, I mean. And also they're really cozy and, you know, it's summer, there's lots of sun and. It is, a, yeah, I a do. A white shirt helps. I do sometimes wear the, the oversized white shirts so that I can, so I can like. I don't know, just be cool and I also found though that it's great to work out in those because then I can bleach them. Yeah. And then I don't have like really sweaty shirts. Well yeah, the like I mean, you know, bleach is just gonna like knock out any body odor, sweat, anything. Yeah. So that's also really cool. We're almost done with our challenge, by the way. Yeah. And uh it's crazy. How long do we have left? Two, two weeks? Two weeks. Yeah. Jeez, I've been working right? out a bit, a lot bit more. Until the and, 31st. Uh, it's, it's been nice. And I mean, I've been working out better. for an hour every single day. I know. That's great. It's working. So. I'm happy for you. I I'm going to keep doing it after the work, after the It's got easier over. to do more once I passed my SIE. That's true. You passed your SAT, and now you're about to start your Series 7 tests. Yeah. You start studying this coming week, right? I start studying on Monday. It is Sunday. Tomorrow you start studying. Yep. I start studying tomorrow, and then I study for a month, and yep. then I take it. Yep, yep, yep. And that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I um did not take that job that I was talking about in the last podcast because they they lowballed me really bad um on the money first of all and they kept calling me cute and it made me uncomfortable yeah so they were doing it in a really weird way apparently they were like like I was a baby yeah <laughs> and I'm not so yeah. I wasn't appreciative of that behavior and didn't want to work with. But they, I just don't understand how you put a, a price range on the listing and then they offered me less than that. Than even the low end of it. Yeah. Like, and I, like less than, it was like yeah, it's, this number and this number and they offered me lower than this number. Yep. I don't want to like go into all the details of how much, but it's just not okay you can't i don't think you should do i don't think you can do that but they tried um but i have been still doing the romwe stuff and the Shein stuff and i've been getting paid for that pretty regularly and it's going pretty well so that's cool that's pretty cool and um i mean i'm enjoying it because i get to draw whatever i want and they just decide if they want to take it or not so that's it's kind of the ideal job for me except that it's just not like hella regular like she and owes me two checks and i'm not supposed to get them for 
like a couple weeks. Yeah, and they tell you that it's not going to be regular. They tell, make it yeah. very clear up front. It's not like a job that's like just holding your paychecks. It's they're doing a really good job of stuff no, and being very transparent. It's just like really sp- like spread out when I get paid. Yeah. So just depending on. Yeah, it's just not consistent for like this was your only well, source yeah, of income if, or something. If I needed to pay bills, like it would not work. Yeah. <laughs> unfortunately. Well, it's fine. That's what uh, mm-hmm. my job's for. Yep. Helps so. With that. Anyway, yeah, it's all going good though. Everything's going fine. Went to Carrollton today. Went to OK Dog. Dang. Got the a hot dog on a stick Dang. thing. I ate my whole entire one. And you still have yours because you were driving. Yes. But yeah, um, got pastries from the bakery out there. Mm-hmm. Which is mm-hmm. a bit my favorite, honestly, place and to all, go. It's like the main reason we go out there. It is kind of. I mean, that and Mr. Dumpling. We went to H Mart and we got Mr. Dumpling. I don't care if people are weird about eating food at a supermarket, cafeteria, or something. Who is weird about Some that? Some people are weird about that kind of thing. Really? Yeah, it's really silly. It's just like eating in a restaurant. Yeah, it's like eating at like a mall cafeteria. I mean, they're you know regulated by. You know, I mean, they still have to pass all of their inspections yeah, and it's, stuff, too. I mean, what are you talking about? That's the way people are. I mean, it's not like eating at a gas station or something. Whatever. Don't ever talk about Bucky's. I know. Bucky's is awesome. I We went to Bucky's, like, a couple weeks ago just to get, um, like, the brisket sandwich, and I like the hot dog, funnily enough. Dude, and you Another give them, like, dog. a dollar, and then they give you a bag of fries enough for, like, 12 people. That's true. It's like, it's a, their small fries is, like, human. <laughs> their small fries is so big. You know that thing where, like, Jesus was, like, he had a bread and then a, a bread and a fish, and then he, like, fed 5,000 people? That's how I feel with a bag full of Bucky's fries, because there's so many fries. <laughs> I don't know why this got biblical, and also, that's not the same at all. I'm just like, I keep taking fries out of the bag, but there's still more fries. Jesus essentially did magic. Yeah, but that's how I feel at Bucky's with the fries, because I keep taking fries out, but there's still more, and I'm like, when am I going to run out? But Vincent, it's like the whole entire bag. They give you like a bag, Mm -hmm. like... You know, whenever you go to the fast food place and oh, yeah. you get the, ba- the bag that all your stuff is inside yeah. of, they just fill that entire bag full of fries. It's insane. So it's really not a I'm just saying that, that I keep taking fries that out. there's like a ton of fries in there. And there's still fries. But yeah, Mr. Dumpling is sick. Oh, right. We're going back to Mr. Dumpling. Mr. Dumpling is so good and everybody should... There. If you go to Carrollton, you should go to the H Mart and get the and, Mr. Dumpling and, the and get the court. chicken and the pot stickers or gyoza. Yeah, the chicken gyoza, get them crispy. They're phenomenal. Dang. I like the hot, I like the spicy sauce, but yeah. you don't have to get the spicy sauce if you can handle it. It's whatever. If you're a little baby, then you can get the I little mean, baby sauce oh if you're not Oh my Erica. god, some people don't like it, and that's all I was saying. You don't have to be offended. You think you're spice shaming them? I'm not spice shaming anybody, but I do want to go on hot ones and just like eat the wings and have a good time. Because everybody else is like dying on that show, and I'm just like, I would it's just. It's insane. The I would just spice eating. you can just eat like it's nothing. I would just eat those wings. It'd be sick. It'd be sick. I can willpower through spice, but. I already told you. You don't even have to. You just eat it. No, I already it told you. It doesn't even bother secret. you. You love it. The, the secret that you said makes no sense. I don't remember the secret. It made so little sense. It. I just said you just you get you get the spicy food and you eat it and then you just let the spicy heat just just hit you and just take over you and then you just you just leave it there it's just there you just let it happen don't try to drink water or something to try to like nullify. Just fully embrace it yeah. for what it is. Don't 
be heavily breathing air because it's so hot or whatever. Just, just take it in and just accept Be it. at peace where you are in life. Yeah, and just live with it. Are you like that guy who sits on icebergs but with chicken wings? <laughs> no, because I don't think that anybody should ever try to inject me with E. coli or whatever they did. Dude, <laughs> that whole Gwyneth Paltrow thing. The goop. The goop. Yeah, it was so weird with the ice guy. I never... And he's like, it said he's injecting himself with E. coli. It's not recommended. Well, they didn't, they didn't inject themselves with E. coli. That's true. They, they just, he they, just said that he did. No, he just said he did. Yeah. I mean, that's what, he and can do what he wants. He apparently sat on an iceberg to be okay. I don't think that's exactly what happened, but. I mean, that show was hilarious to I watch, I actually though. don't think they ever went into that. We didn't watch that show. We watched some of it. We watched the John Tron thing of it, and then we watched some of it. We really didn't though because well my mom wanted to watch it and i just want i was just like just watch a jontron video mom because this is garbage she's like oh we should i'm like mom are you serious you can't don't it's fucking pseudoscience man come on as in not real as in fake <laughs> like it's not there's somebody who gets done with their ancient aliens marathon and it's just like I'm so glad that some people know the truth. And then they turn on into Gwyneth Paltrow's goop. And then they're it's like... It's the goop lab with Gwyneth Paltrow. Get it right. Okay. <laughs> and then they're like, this is it. If you're gonna... If you're gonna... This is science. Go Why can't it. scientists... Why can't Dr. Fauci admit... No. That the goop lab and ancient aliens are real science? Nobody is doing that. Nobody is doing that exact thing that you said. Nobody. <laughs> please. <laughs> Just please, no. I feel like the same people who believe that COVID isn't real also believe in but ancient are, also guess, believe in ancient aliens and Gwyneth Paltrow. I, I don't think that anybody actually thinks COVID's not real. I think that they just think that they're not going to get it. It's and... not like as bad as everybody's saying it is, which is crazy. But I mean, I don't want to get into the whole thing. The, you know what I want to have? You know what I want to talk about that has something to do with COVID? What's that? My sister Madison just recently was in the hospital. Yeah. She, you know, actually, I think this is actually an interesting story. So... Uh, she was she's been sick for a couple of weeks no like a month even maybe which is kind of what happened last time sort of but not as bad and she they took her to the my parents took her to the emergency room just to get checked out because she was having some issues she has uc and um it's just you know it that's it's ulcerative, ulcerative colitis, colitis yes. for y'all that don't know, which uh, <laughs> if you don't know someone with ulcerative colitis or have it, you probably don't. Yeah, it's just which, she... Which is fair. She gets ulcers on her intestines and uh, they, you know, bleed and then she can bleed out. Um, you, can, you can imagine how. And then she has to get uh, blood transfusions a lot. Um, They're treating it and... Uh -huh. Well, let me just say that she's, she can't, she ended up getting it a long time ago when she was young. She's still a child. She went to the children's hospital and everything. And that's how we found out what it was. And she's on medication for it and all this stuff. But recently she was having like flare ups, I guess. And they were taking her to the emergency room. Well, they took her to the emergency room like three separate times. And one of those times she got bronchitis. <laughs> she caught bronchitis. But luckily my whole family is vaccinated. So even though we were in the emergency room with, well, she was, and my parents were in the emergency room with people that did in fact for sure have COVID because they were there for COVID. And they were sitting like, my dad said there were people sitting like directly behind them that straight up had COVID. And they were all wearing masks. And, you know, my family has gotten the vaccine and everything. And they were kind of like, uh, I mean, we could still catch it potentially. Um, but they didn't. But she did catch bronchitis of all things. And then she was sick with bronchitis 
for a while. They gave her some medicine for that. Anyway, her ulcerative colitis doctor, her her gastro doctor, uh-huh. he he said she needed to get blood work done. And so we were asked, well, me specifically, to go over there and take her to get the blood work done. So we show up at the at the house to pay. Oh, is uh, it? Yeah, it's, it's going. We're back. Um, camera stopped. And yeah. we're ready to go. You were talking, you were saying we went to go pick up Madison from the hospital. Yeah, so, okay. So, yeah, they asked us, because they were working that day, to go and pick her up and take her to get her blood work done. Because they just have to keep an eye on her. And we went to go pick her up and she looked like she was like dying she looked so pale um she couldn't even like walk down the stairs she was like the thing that really um tipped me off was she was like oh i took a shower and i almost passed out in there which the first time she went to the hospital she was like having fainting spells that she actually didn't tell us about but um Yeah, that was a whole different story. But anyway, ended up basically calling my parents and being like, um... I know we're supposed to take her to get blood tests done today, but... (laughs) I think she needs her blood. (laughs) I don't think she has blood to spare. Yeah, so we... Anyway, my dad came and got her and took her to the hospital. And then later on, um, basically they told him, this is what has to do with COVID, actually... They told him that he couldn't stay in the hospital with her. Um, So he was upset because she was going to be in there by herself. And even though she's, you know, technically an adult, you know, she's going to be in the hospital by herself. It's like a whole thing. She's still, I mean, they, you know, my sisters are very... They live at home. They're homeschooled. Yeah, they're young. You know, they're not like, you know, uh, they're kids. Anyway... He was just like, crap. And then we had to go. Basically, she ended up in the hospital for three days. Yeah? Yeah. And um, we had to go pick up stuff for her and take it to her. The first night, she spent by herself. And that was a whole thing. And then you spent the rest with her. And then I spent the, the other... I went and stayed with her after that the next day and stuff overnight. And uh, it was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy because I didn't get any sleep at all. Um, first, we were just having trouble falling asleep. I was in this godforsaken chair. This, like, reclining... Did I show you a picture of that chair? That chair was horrible. Anyway, it was I mean, like... that's a hospital chair, man. It was they like suck. a reclining chair that is just like, this is for your guests to sleep on, I guess. But yeah, if after she was um, put in room, she was on... They had her on a gurney just in the hallway. For like a really long time. For hours. That, yeah, because they didn't have a day. room for her. And then somebody, I mean, left or something else. I, don't, I think. No, they... this, she, she said that she was told that they checked out. Like that they left and that they were fine. Which I don't know why they would feel the need to tell her that. Beca- because... Unless something bad happened. No, because. See, because. Right now, things are getting really bad in some areas. Yeah. Um, but after she had her own room, she was allowed to have one visitor. And that one person was allowed to stay the night. One person. One. Yeah. And that's and just one crazy. one person even there at the time. For yeah. Her. If my mom wanted to, if my mom wanted to come, I would have to leave and then let my mom come. And wait in the car. Yeah. It was... It's just, it's so crazy to us because... It's a little bit silly because if you're going to juggle like that, it's like the person or it's like you can only use one coupon per transaction that gets like... And they just have... They do like 10 transactions. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) It's like, okay, well, we're going to have these and we're just going to swap them out and they're fine with that. It's the same amount of exposure. Yeah. Well, I was glad that I got to stay with her at least and help her out we'll probably have her on the podcast soon actually because she can probably tell the whole story about her Um, ivs and everything oh my god it was freaking all i'm gonna say is that she was having 
a lot of IV trouble. I want her to tell it because she tell, tells it better. But she had, she got stuck like, ten like times. 10 times. Yeah. yeah, like nine or 10 times um, because they needed to, this is the other funny thing is that they, in order to, she had a blood transfusion, one unit. And in order to give you blood, they have to first take your blood so they can check your hemoglobin. Oh my gosh. So they can see if you need it's the blood. Like, <laughs> but it's like, well, they clearly. They like take out a whole like gallon of blood. They and then they're like, hey, gallon. you're looking like a gallon of blood short. <laughs> that, <laughs> you probably need a transfusion. I think they were doing two vials. Um, and then they would give her a whole bag which is a unit. Anyway, they had to give her saline. They had to give her blood. They had to give her flagell, which is the steroid. They had to give her an antibiotic as well. So she had lots of IVs and lots of different, and plus then they kept checking her blood multiple times. They kept taking blood. I think they took blood three times. That sucks. And they only gave her blood. They only gave her one unit. I've never had my blood taken. Transfusion. Well, I, I'm sure you did when you were a baby. Oh, a baby doesn't count. Nothing counts when you're a baby. I'm just saying when you were a baby and you were born, I'm sure that they took blood. When you're a baby, you're basically just a wiggly meatloaf. Okay. I mean, still took not your... like... You think that the camera's picking up Grim scratching himself? Probably. And his it's little tags. It's not like... Jingly, jingly. You're just like a mass of goo and you don't remember any of that i don't think you've spent very much time around babies babies are weird they're you know just like little people that can't do anything i mean once they get like two or three then they're little people but up until then i don't know what they are if they're two or three they're like dogs yeah are more they're like puppy vocal. they're like puppies at that point you know up until they're like one year old at least i just don't even know what to do with it i, don't I haven't know. been like around a baby in a really long time because my sisters are 19 um, but yeah I've never had my blood drawn so I probably will at some point no I think that we should totally give blood um I think we should just go give blood just you know yeah I think it's a good thing to do well um, I know you don't like it but we got the queen. I mean I probably should especially being O negative like that universal yeah, donor it's, stuff yeah it's a really I think it deal. can help people also, I mean... I mean, I only know like, that because I did get blood drawn as a baby, I guess. <laughs> but you don't like needles, but you still got the vaccine. Yeah. So you got the two shots, and that was okay. I mean, we did both. You had a real bad reaction to the first shot. I had a bad reaction to the second shot. Well, my bad reaction to the second one was delayed, but I still had a pretty bad reaction. It was not as bad as the... No, it's not one. as bad as the first Either one. Either way, I'm just saying you you went and you got a shot. I think you can go and... and give some blood. Give some blood, so... Um, Save a baby or something. Yeah, you know, something. Or just, like, some guy who... Some needs, dude. Needs blood, I don't know. Freaking Steve who or, works at the Costco. I just... I actually just feel serious about it because my sister has had multiple blood transfusions yeah. at this point, and um, probably uh, people people apparently need blood. So I'm thinking we should, except I her, mean, she I, shouldn't give any. I think they pay. You, she should they pay you for it too. So that's she, pretty cool. That's not what it's about. What's wrong with you? I no. mean, I'm saying I think my whole family. And everybody should just go and give blood. I'm just saying that. Because my sister's life has been saved multiple times. After giving blood, blood I'm going to want some tacos. So if they give me taco money for giving blood, that's just fair. Vincent, I think you're missing the point of everything that I'm saying. No, it's right because it <laughs> saves a life and the life it could save could be your own or your sister's. I'm pretty sure that she and I have the same blood type, too. Also. All right. I think. Because, well, I, I, I'm actually, yes, we do. Because my mom, the first time she was in the hospital, my mom was calling me like, you need to come over here. Give your sister your blood. And I was like, I mean, I, I will, but I feel that they 
have some available for <laughs> already added you know I was like I think that they already have yeah. some I just you know they used to do blood blood drives at the school all the time not UTA but they did at TCC which you know what I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna throw this out there and I understand that UTA is a university and that people like university and that people make fun of community college all the time but our community college was sick. I mean, they used to do blood drives. They used to do like other charity work. They used to give us free stuff all the time. Our community college is really good and it is very well funded. Yeah, I got and, all my basics out of the way really easy while yeah. still having time to figure out what I wanted to do. I recommend it. I mean, and, it, and it was like I don't know what for. community college is like in other states. I know it's not necessarily as it's good. It's fine because whenever I lived in uh, Missouri and my parents went to Penn Valley. Mm. But the one we went to was really they good. They had a, the same experience. I okay. mean, they liked it. They would go to these events all the time and do all this stuff. I'm saying, you get your whole, your whole first two years of school done there. Uh-huh. And it's like a tenth of the price of university. No, I'm, it's not even, I'm not even just talking about that. That's like a whole different story. I'm talking about literally the school is better. Mm-hmm. When we went, when, well, you're still kind of attending UTA. But whenever I went to UTA after going to TCC, it fucking sucked in comparison. They don't have anything free. They don't have anything cool. There's like hardly any events. The only thing I could say is that they sometimes have people come talk to you. Mm-hmm. Um, because we had people from like Disney, like people from Pixar come and talk to us. And that's cool. I mean, that's really cool. But I'm just saying that like you just go sit in an auditorium and you listen to yeah. some guy talk and well, then you leave. Well, I was pretty sad. They had Terry Crews at UTA one day and I missed it. Didn't you have to work? Yeah, I got called into work. Like, I had to go to work. You had to work. And um, I miss I mean, Terry Crews. It's whatever. I'm sure he's, uh, I'm, I'm sure he doesn't mind. <laughs> I'm sure he didn't miss you. Terry <laughs> Crews, I'm sorry. I missed it. I really, I really wanted to, you know, go to that event. Mm-hmm. It's fine. I'm sorry. No. Well, maybe he'll come back. Sorry, Terry. Maybe he'll come back. If you see this, Terry... Terry Crews is not going to watch this. You're completely out of your mind. If if one of you knows Terry Crews... Nobody that knows Terry Crews... Get this to Terry. Or if he prefers, get this to Mr. Crews. But then I feel like he wouldn't want to be called Mr. Crews because then people might like mistake him for Tom Tom Cruise. But maybe that's just me thinking Tom Cruise is more famous. Is Tom Cruise more famous? I'm going to go ahead and say objectively, yeah. Okay. I'm going to say he's I like been Terry Crews more. A lot of movies for a long time. So, I mean, okay. He's also, he's insane. Probably um, more well known. <laughs> but I like Terry Crews more. And so, well, if you know, he's if not you know, a psycho- no, psychotic Terry. Scientologist, so it's probably Yeah, I think it's safe to, to say to that like Scientologists are crazy now, especially after all the documentaries and everything. I think everyone knows that they're pretty much crazy. I mean, I'm pretty sure that they've been making fun of Scientologists since yeah. the 2000s, at least. If you so. know Mr. Terry Crews, then you tell him I'm sorry. Stop, for talk- that. stop talking to Terry Crews right now. Stop. No, but no, he's never going to see this. Okay, stop. Oh my god. But no, UTA, yeah, it's not as well funded for some things. You just got off on this crazy tangent. And also, that's not true. UTA has so much money. Well, they have the money, but they don't put it towards They don't use it at all for the students. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying is the difference. Well, here's the thing I go to one, even my, they put a lot towards their engineering, but even the engineering, I went to lab. It's a computer lab for a class, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm to doing some coding and stuff Mm -hmm. and they tell us all right get out your computers and Mm -hmm. i'm just gonna say at tcc they they, had computers they had computers for you there and they already had the programs installed and stuff on them and were ready to go yeah they have some that are available but you have to like go there and hope that there's one available but like at TCC, they had them available for all the students, which they weren't like great. They weren't good computers, 
but they could do the stuff you needed them to do for class. But they required you to bring a laptop to that class for that class, which I mean isn't unreasonable, but I'm just saying that if TCC can provide them, I would hope that UTA could for their engineering department, which is where they claim all their money goes. Yeah, well, you know, I was a graphic designer and they didn't have computers for us either, so. Yeah. Had to bring my own computer. But that's not even what I'm talking about either. I'm just talking about the stuff, the stuff that they have, that they provide, that's like events and like, you know, like for students to like get together, to like talk to each other, to like have a good time, to like, you know, whatever. TCC always gave us, like gave us food all the time. Yeah, they give us like food and they do these events with all these like little things that they had going on. And some of them were really dumb, us but they like, still had food. So. They were, some of them were dumb, but like some people really liked them. Yeah. Like, did I personally enjoy like when they had those weird like Hawaiian dancers come and like those like I think it was like a Japanese like drum people that they had like a dance and they had a drum it was I mean it's sick but it's just in the cafeteria and I'm like I just wanted to get some lunch I'm just trying to like eat a sandwich (laughs) like I was gonna sit and read my book and (laughs) eat lunch and now there's There's like a luau happening and I'm like yeah (laughs) <laughs> I mean, this is cool, but, but I I'm trying see, to eat a sandwich. <laughs> I would see other students loving it, going up in there and dancing and getting a lay on and just like having the time of their lives. So I'm just saying UJ didn't really have anything like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, community college is nice for stuff like they that. They didn't like go out of their way to try to like, you know, provide anything really cool or like... For people to have fun or like for people to talk to each other they're like you're at university now you're not here to have fun you're here to suffer <laughs> but that's the thing too is that i honestly didn't feel that i don't know i didn't i didn't feel that at all i just thought that it was the same except more lame and i didn't have any friends <laughs> university is where you go to be alone <laughs> community college is where you make friends yeah, but then you only keep, like, one of them or two of them, and then you just, like, forget about the rest. Oh, my God. Because they were fakers. What not they just got so busy? Um, this thing. Everybody gets so busy after college and stuff. I don't even feel that. I feel like you're more busy when you're in college, and that's just a BS excuse so you don't have to hang out with people. I mean, I definitely <laughs> am working and going to school he just stood up so that he could change positions so i mean it definitely is but yeah i get you i thought he was joining us no our dog's just shifting i wanted him to join us his dog shifting so that we could get like a little bit of tiktokers please don't say dog shifting because that sounds like bunny shifter or something oh my gosh like in one of those romance novels that Mm mm-hmm Mm-hmm. The Game Grumps we're talking about. And I don't want you to associate shifter. that with my dog, please. He's just shifting positions. <laughs> my God. No. <laughs> You're... I don't know why you said that. You got me thinking about that now. He's just readjusting, okay? Yeah. He's getting comfy in his bed. Yeah, exactly. It's... That's what I meant. Cut all of this out. <laughs> Cut every single <laughs> bit of this out. Absolutely. Do not leave any of this in. Because I can't. No. <laughs> no? What do you mean, no? Anyways. Um, do we even have anything else to talk about? I don't know, man. Anything else happen at all? I mean. I mean, probably, but I just don't recall. The hospital is a big thing, and you know. Yeah, and like I said, I don't want to get like super into it. Yeah, I mean, because I think it would be better if Matt. Only other thing going on, man, is I'm taking my series seven in a month. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, You passed your thingy. You're doing your other thingy. Yeah, and I'm starting a physics class. Um, It's one of my. It's like last raw classes, and then it's just 
my pure engineering class has left. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, hey, are we having dinner? Yeah, we'll have something. What are you about? I don't know. There's some apples over there. You want to have an apple for dinner? No, I want something more than okay. that. Okay, I was like, whoa, all right. Um, I was joking. I mean, yeah, we did eat gyoza, and we did have hot dogs, so. You think a sushi roll, gyoza, an okay dog, sashimi, um, a pastry, an apple that was uh-huh. going to have, uh-huh. and you, my, oh, oh, that, what was the other thing the I had? Ice the thing. ice cream. The ice cream. The shaved ice. Um, you think that's enough food for me? I mean, maybe. I'm going to need at least twice that. Um, okay. That seems like way too much, but... How am I not... Oh, over- wait! What? Wait! <laughs> How am I not we overweight? Have, <laughs> we have that spicy miso! Oh, heck yeah! There. We got that spicy miso! Oh, man! Heck yeah, we're spicy miso ink. That's what we gotta eat. That's what we should Alright, you wanna go make some spicy miso? Yes. Are you still right. eating your hot dog? Yeah, I'm gonna eat my hot dog. Okay, cool. And an apple. Are you gonna eat a pastry tonight? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Man, I should've got more milk toast. I'll probably, uh... Make some rice, too. Because I've got that milk toast for my mom. She doesn't have to know. No, I, I'm thinking about just taking one out and She's then giving her the rest. If you're watching this... She's not watching this. Then just know we love you and you got we got you milk toast, but we're taking a piece of that milk toast. She's not going to know because she has no idea how many are, are supposed to be in there. Yeah, it's like a small pack. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, so if I just mm-hmm. take one piece of toast... She'll never know. She'll never know. Sick. Then I can save my pastries for tomorrow and the next day yeah. for breakfast. That sounds good. Yeah, let's go eat some miso. Okay, great. Um, If you take anything away from this podcast, it's that you should be careful um, right now because things are getting crazy out there. And uh, just, you know, just don't be like a crazy conspiracy theorist. Just, you know... Follow the facts. Yeah, follow the facts. Um, listen to the FDA and um, to the doctors that are professionals because they're they're just trying to keep us safe. And that's about it. That's all I got. Like, oh, and please give blood because it saves people's lives. And yeah. I, I actually really... After, after the last time, I was already feeling this way, but after this time, it's like even more apparent. I'm like, I've, I've got to go. And I've got to get blood for sure. And I'm not gonna, like, I'm gonna, I'm going to. I'll even do it with you. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that at the forefront of my mind and try to do it at least once a year or something because yeah. I think it's important. Also, they'll give you chocolate money. I mean, I don't know that you need to do it for the money. Just do it because it. Well, I'm just saying it's a bonus. If, you know. If I could save somebody's life, that'd be great. If I could save somebody's life and then they're like, hey, thanks for saving my life. Here's taco money. That's even better. Okay. And that's what giving blood Just is. Just give blood because it saves lives. And also the life you save could be your own if you're a selfish prick. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>